In this video, we are going to learn about the spread of a normal distribution. Previously, we learned what a normal distribution was. It's a type of probability distribution that's sometimes called a bell curve. It's symmetrical about its mean. Here's one example of a normal distribution. This is a normal distribution because the mean falls in the center and has the highest probability. And the results on either side of the mean become less and less likely the farther you get away from the mean. Remember that the mean is just the average value of the data. Here's another example of a normal distribution. Notice that the green curve is much more compact, though it is also centered about its mean. And in both cases, both the purple and the green graph are symmetrical about the mean. That means that they look the same on either half of the mean. Here's a third example of a normal distribution. Notice that this red graph is much more spread out than either the purple or the green. As you can see by looking at these three examples of normal distributions, it's important for us to have a way to measure the spread of a normal distribution. And the spread is just like how compact or close to the mean is everything versus how spread out are all the data points. So the spread is often measured by something called the standard deviation. And for right now, we're just going to think of the standard deviation as a measure of the spread of the data of a normal distribution. So the larger the standard deviation, the more spread out the data. So if we compare these three graphs, the green, the purple, and the red, the graph or the distribution with the smallest standard deviation would be the green one because that data is all sort of compact and close to the mean. And the data set with the largest standard de deviation would be the red one because everything in the red graph is more spread out and not all compact towards the mean. So for right now, what you should know is if a specific data set has a pretty small standard deviation, that means that all of the data is relatively close together towards the mean, whereas if there's a larger standard deviation, the data is much more spread out. Later, we'll learn how to actually calculate the standard deviation and a little bit more about how it interacts with the normal distribution.